My name is Insane Raven. I am back with another episode of Letters from the Field. Uh, I'm sick. Or I'm getting sick. Not sure which one is the more true and which one is the more heinous of those those admissions. But um. Let's talk about this week. Let's talk about everything that happened this week. This was a busy week with between uh, Thanksgiving, Black Friday, and all the Christmas stuff we've been doing. It's been a week of stuff. So, first off, there were. Let's start our week. Because nothing really happened Monday or Tuesday. Actually, that's not true. Oh, God, this week was busy. So, uh, what's we'll on Tuesday? Tuesday, I, um, as preparations for all the trips we're doing in uh, 2018 that I've talked about on the channel before, uh, I need to get a passport, and my passport has long since expired, and I'd, as of this point, we hadn't done anything about it, so we, I had to go and upgrade my, get, update my passport, upgrade. I had to upgrade my passports. Yeah, because upgrade is not at all what it's called. Um, so I had to upgrade, I had to update my passport. So that was a whole hoopla of an event. Um, mainly because I had to go somewhere that I don't usually go to, and that was the mall. That was the uh, the courthouse. Every time I go to the courthouse, I get kind of anxious. It's like, ooh, I'm at the courthouse. Why am I at the courthouse? Um. Pop it in. See and it's just it's just not a good feeling to me at the courthouse. Because like it's whenever I'm at the courthouse, like something's wrong. I shouldn't be here necessarily. Um I'm so glad I forgot what this thing what this uh this gobble gum did. And uh, now I have to walk everywhere. But whatever. Um, <clears throat> um, so Tuesday was all about my passport and my last real day of work. Uh, it wasn't bad. I got in, I walked out real smooth. It was a fun time. I had to update my signature, my official signature, which now is just gross. And these back when it used to be uh, basically just my name in print, it was cleaner. Now it's just a mess, which is always a good time. Um, so now with my signature being so differently, I had to officially update my um, my signature because that could be a sign of forgery if it's not the same everywhere so that was fun I got to update that that was a good time which like that like I understand why that's a thing but it's just so ridiculous um I might have mentioned this before I'm not sure if I did but I started re getting really into Riverdale um I'm watching a uh, Riverdale Mainly because, like, I've been looking for a new dumb... Oh, well, it's not really dumb. Like, it's, it's better than 90% of them. But I've been looking forward to watching, just watching a new uh, teen drama. I haven't really had a teen drama to latch on to in a while. Oh, okay. Why do I have Cuckoo Five? Um, so I've been kind of looking forward to just watch, watching a new uh, teen drama. And now with uh, with the river I kind of have one, and the fact that Cole Sprouse is in it just makes it better. I I loved Cole and Dylan back from Free Life and Zack and Cody. And now I'm watching them again, and it's like I'm watching one of them again. And it's like oh feelings. So that's fun. Um, that's a lot of fun. I don't think I'm going to be ready for when the zombies start running. Because we kind of did this like at the beginning. 
I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be ready. Um, oh wait, shit, I can talk about Sunday, because I didn't talk about that last time. Um, Sunday, after I recorded the letters from the field, we, uh, I went to a zoo. Took pictures of a bunch of stuff. Um, if I had the editing software, I'd show you said pictures. But, lady had a zebra. So that was fun. Got to hang out with the zebra. Um, I was taking pictures, and I was taking pictures. I kind of walked further and further in to the, uh... Into the into the zoo into essentially the animals area and apparently I had by doing this I had pissed off this like dominant fluffy cow and I say that like it was a cow but no it was more of a bull a fluffy bull and uh, me being oblivious I'm like oh pictures animals yeah hey I'm a photographer um I didn't notice that this bull was not happy with me being in the area and it was kind of just like staring at me like am i gonna skewer you should i skewer you what are the benefits from skewer skewering you those are not an easy word to say when you have accents um but it was one of these things where it's like oh i should be very dead i think i think i should be very dead and I'm not, which is good. So I can keep making videos. I can keep doing stuff. Uh, which is good. I like not being dead. She had a uh, capybara. I hope to God I'm saying that right. Um, the capybara was cool as fuck. I enjoyed looking at the capybara. Um, if you don't know what a capybara is, basically a rodent the size of a small dog. And it's terrifying. Um, it's terrifying as an idea and as a concept, not too much as a, um, actual animal, which you should feel. It's not that bad, but it's still, um, slightly terrifying. Just thinking about a capybara. So that was fun. Um, we had a lovely lunch. Uh, right beforehand, um, I don't know why I died, I stabbed him, but that's cool. We had a lovely lunch beforehand at this restaurant that, uh, we know, we're like, we're friends with the, with the owner of the restaurant, so we got, we got to eat at their restaurant. Um, the meal was covered, so I didn't have to pay anything, which was really nice. And I don't, like, I don't think I expressed my gratitude enough <laughs> when, uh, I did thank them. I don't think that's something that I did, but, you know, whoops. <laughs> um, that does nothing to help my asshole persona. Uh, I received, on, on the same day on Sunday, we, I got this, uh, I got an invite for the wedding, and... I don't know, man. I was so excited about that, and it was like, oh, I can get to go to a wedding. I mean, I was probably going to go anyway because uh, Rogue was invited, and she's like, yeah, I'll bring you. You're my plus one. So, I was probably going to go to this wedding anyway, but just the fact that I got like a personal invite, I was like, oh, yay, fun. Um, While well, like, one of the runners of the uh i probably should say how i went to the zoo i went to the zoo with the wasn't ready for the round to end i was drinking coffee um with the uh the the church uh group i'm a part of that we've been talking about every uh oh, i don't have a gun uh so i don't have a knife um, with the church crew, I've been talking about going to every, uh, Sunday as a part of deals that have been made. Uh, we went to go do all this. So, the <clears throat> Come get some. so one of the girls, the girls that, uh, the girl that runs it was looking through my pictures and she was like, Hey, so how long have you been doing photography? And I could be wrong, but the way she said it made me feel like she thought I was 
doing it professionally. I'm probably looking way too much into that. That's not how she meant it. And she just meant like, oh, how long have you been taking pictures? And I feel like there's, there are two possible answers to that. There's the douchebag answer of, well, I've been taking pictures on my official price camera since I was a pre-K. Or there was the answer I gave her, which was, I oh, just like a year. Like, I haven't really been, like, nose to the grindstone on photography. It's just something of a hobby that I do that I like doing because I have this crazy idea that the world is a beautiful place if you're only looking for it and you're taking time to stop and address things. Which is weird being that I run a YouTube gaming channel where I never go outside. And outside is a dangerous and disgusting place. Why did I pick this weapon up? Um, but, you know, details. Don't don't get lost in them. Uh, so I talked about the Passport Tuesday. I talked about the zoo. Let's see how bad this is. Yep, I can't even get a good beat out of it. So it's terrible. Okay, this is not how I die. Um, so that's good. So it's good that I got all that out of the way. No, but like, um, just her complimenting my photography was probably one of the the kindest uh compliments I could have gotten. I'm like, oh yay, someone thinks my photography is good. Yay! I don't have to pay someone to say that either. This, might well, this is probably gonna give me more trouble, but I'm okay with it. Um, at least it's fun to use. Um, so let's talk about Wednesday. Now Wednesday was a full work day for me, and because I work in a school, a full work day basically just means um when there's no school. But we still run the program. The uh, but we still run the run the after school program. It's uh, it's known as a full day. Now, what a full day means is that it it could it's a five hour shift instead of a normal like four hour shift. And essentially, there are two shifts instead of one, and each shift gets broken down into a five hour shift. Now. The reason, part of the reason why I love this job so much, not just because I'm working with kids and I'm moving towards my uh, career choice, is because it it starts at one o'clock, one thirty in the afternoon, and I get to sleep in because I love sleep. I love. It was one of my biggest issues with my other job was that I had to wake up at two o'clock in the morning. Oh, okay, so we already have the bow and arrows. Um, I had to wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning, so I didn't really have a nightlife or a sleep schedule. And I just really hated that job because of that. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll pick the 12.30 shifts. It won't be a big issue. Um, by picking the 12.30 shift, I'll be able to still get my sleep. And I'll just... Um, I'll still be able to stay up until like 4 o'clock in the morning and I'll be good. Well, apparently one of my work, one of my co-workers uh, did, uh, went on the trip because it's Thanksgiving and it makes sense to kind of do that. Um, but because of that, uh, I got boomed up to her 7.30 shifts. So I was hanging out with children um, at 7.30 in the morning and I was like, okay, maybe as, as long as I can get the right co-worker, um, this won't be as stressful as a time, as a day, and I'll just be able to kind of like skate through it and it'll be a good time. But well, because I'm saying this, um, because I'm saying this here, you guys already know that I didn't get the right co-worker, and then this was even worse. Secrets. So, I got the one co-worker who never worked, has yet to work with half of the kids. So that was fun. I got a co-worker who is also 
if I had to like rank my co-workers and how effective he is at his job, he he's like second from the bottom in an effective co-worker ring. Um, so that was fun getting to work with him, and I just wanted to scream half of the day. I'm like, why are you all so useless? Um. So that was a good time. I also had the manager who, like, I'm. I'm 90% sure hates me or just thinks I'm like completely incapable of doing my job. So I don't know. Um, so that was Wednesday. And then afterwards I came back. I started doing, um, I came back to the house. I started doing some trophy hunting and stuff. And then Thanksgiving. This is already going to be a longer video than most of these. But I have to talk about Thanksgiving. Because I absolutely hate thanksgiving now i hate thanksgiving now let me explain um i've kind of gone into how the dichotomy is that even the right word i don't feel like that's the right word of the dynamics of the house of, of how i've been kicked out of the house before of how i've been fed in the house before and all those other things and it's always done by this one specific person in the house um I don't think I have to mention who this person is here, but you're about to figure it out real quick. Well, somehow in the how we're going to break this up uh, of the holiday season, it ended up being that his family would come for Thanksgiving and our family would come for Christmas. So it's a good way of working it out. Um, I'll give it that. I'll give him that. So for Thanksgiving, his entire family comes to our house, and we have a Thanksgiving lunch because apparently these people can't do a Thanksgiving dinner, and we just eat and we talk and we enjoy like a normal family. The issue is I hate almost all of them for one reason or another, and. It, there's not even like the whole oh but we're like we're family and we're related so you like you hate them but you kind of have to love them because family you know it's like i just hate these people in their entirety they stress me out they are loud they're obnoxious they're they have way too much money most of them to be human and be grounded and i hate all of them so th thanksgiving now is a very stressful time for me so we're sitting down and we're all kind of just interacting and I just, I couldn't. So what, so what my step uh, fourth uh, does is that he, uh, like on a normal meal, he'll eat his food and when he's done, he just gets up and walks away. He'll leave his plate there. And it's, it's been this thing that's always annoyed me like more than anything else. It's like, well, if we have to clean up our dishes, why don't you type thing and it's a very personal thing it's something that i probably make a bigger deal out of than like it needs to be but you know to each their own opinion and so me being a petty bitch because i sometimes do that i ate my food i finished and while everyone's like getting into discussions or whatever i just picked up my plate put it in the sink and walked away so at least i did do a little bit more than he usually does so, there was that. I did a little bit more, but not by much. And then I just walked away, locked myself in my room, and I was good. <laughs> I played it off as I passed out, but I was in here playing video games the entire time. And I was happy. I was, I was good. So, that was Thursday. Wednesday, on top... I have to go rewind back to Wednesday real quick. On top of, um... Is not the real getting story. the, uh... Getting kind of just screwed over at work. We also want to go buy our Christmas tree. When I say we want to go buy our Christmas tree, I mean my mom and my sister want to go get a Christmas tree. He was not there. The step was not there. And I have this big thing where I hate Christmas before December. Because no other holiday is so greedy that it needs three months to do anything and to prep for things it's like that's, you know, that's your greedy holiday stop being a greedy holiday i'm gonna just 
scan through these guys. Like, no other holiday is such a greedy holiday that needs three months to prepare and prep and have a good time. Like, it's BS. Um. But yeah, here comes Christmas. Like, <laughs> I fucking hate it. Um. The other thing that I hate about Christmas is that the step loves Christmas so much. He was watching Hallmark Christmas movies before our. Uh, before Halloween in October and I wanted to murder people like it's just a very casual thing it's like why why would you do this Halloween's my favorite holiday and you're bringing in your Christmas shit already like fuck you stop doing that um but I hate Christmas before December 1st as soon as December 1st comes I'm like let's go carol all the bells eggnog let's holla and I love Christmas after December. Like, once December starts, I'm all into Christmas. But, this being said, but the day before Thanksgiving, we went and bought our Christmas tree. And I hated it. Because... Really? Because it's almost just disrespectful, you know? It's, at some point, it's like, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, and there's the pansy. So I'm just gonna die again. That's fine. It gives me more time to talk to you guys. Hopefully these guys play good so I don't have to panic about getting into a new lobby. But we'll talk about that later. Um, so I absolutely hate Christmas before December. Because it just feels rude. It feels wrong to celebrate Christmas. Or to get excited for Christmas. When you have all these other holidays that are going on. So. We get the Christmas tree and... This dude, and like, the people who were putting up the Christmas tree onto the truck, and then they were hunting down the Christmas tree in this farm, you could tell, absolutely hated the fact that they were doing their job. Because it's a fam- because where we go, is this family operated, uh, store, right? Not really a store, it's like a pet, like, they buy land, and it's family owned and operated, and it's all good time. But this guy, he just gives the heaviest sigh in the world that he has to get another tree. So, and like, so I started talking to him, I'm like, dude, I get it, I work with children, and like, around this time of year, they are insufferable, because they're all like, Santa's coming, Santa's coming, and there's a big part of me that just wants to be like, Santa isn't real, Santa is your dad, when he puts on a red suit, and he tries to skinny dip down your tree, it's a very uncomfortable experience for everyone, but Santa isn't real. So it's okay. You know, like, it's a very uncomfortable thing that I want to, like, I want to fall into. Especially when I met this girl. And I, and I say girl, but, like, she's she's a child. I met this child at my job by saying that I eat the cookies for Santa. And now that it's, like, Christmas time, she won't let me live that down. And it's like, I had a 20-second conversation with you about eating cookies. And now you've turned into the most insufferable person on the planet. Thank you for that. And it's just like, it's a rough time this time of year. So, while they're doing all that, I'm like, okay. So we get the, so we get the tray, we put it on, and then we... The Black Friday. So let's go back to Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving ends, and I get a call. I get a call from Cincinnati Kid, and he's like, Hey, um, I'm in town for Thanksgiving. I have to do some Black Friday shopping. Do you want to come with me? And I'm like, you know what? Sure. I'll come with you to get, to do some Black Friday shopping. Even though I have no money for Black Friday shopping, I have no money, period, for Black Friday shopping. And I hate the idea of Black Friday shopping. Because a lot of times, it's the last day of November before December, and it's like, this is wrong. We're still in Turkey month. Why are we doing Christmas shopping? But that's besides the point. So we go we go do Black Friday shopping. And I've never done Black Friday shopping. Because of aforementioned things. And I hate Black Friday shopping. Because people are just fucking insane. Um, and I mean that in the best possible way. People are absolute crazy when it comes to Black Friday shopping. And so that's what I was ready for. I was like, okay, we're going to walk into this. 
the people they're gonna be lines with the wazoo it's gonna be crazy well we we came to the party at like nine we got there and it was like around nine so that like, we're expecting hell on earth to be happening in this um in this mall and that's not what we got so we're waiting around for it and nothing really crazy happens like he gets his gifts and i'm like okay this is black friday shopping something bananas has to happen it just has to otherwise did we really go black friday shopping or did we just go shopping at midnight because at this point it had gone in around midnight and we were still you know walking around the mall trying to find things i'm like oh had we just gone shopping at midnight which i could have done at my house from amazon why are we here and still like nothing really happened it, it never became this thing where it was like oh this we saw this and that's why we went to black friday the biggest thing that happened was that this lady was getting into an argument with a jewelry salesman as we were walking by um this guy got into an an argument this lady was getting into an argument with it, with this uh jewelry sales person and the jewelry sales person is like look i can't use your check i'm sorry about that just please like understand what's kind of happening because there were a lot of people at this black friday shop and the lady was like you can't say that um i'm you know i'm your customer and i have the receipts from here and why can't you just return this so i can buy this other thing and it's a 20 dollar thing like what's going on like what's the big deal and as we were walking past i'm like you know if it was really that big of a deal, it just, it's only $20. I'm pretty sure you can buy ju more, better, and a more expensive jewelry, like, anywhere else than here. I don't understand why it has to be from here. Just, if they're not helping you, just take your money somewhere else. It's a very simple concept that you seem to be struggling with. Like, just... They just go somewhere else at this point, you know? But she wasn't hearing it, so I was like, okay, cool. That, that's great. Um, but, you know, what are you going to do about it? Um, yeah, so Black Friday kind of went off, no problems. We, we, spent the we spent the day decorating the tree. Um... And it, it wasn't a big deal. The, on, the only thing that... Uh, so Black Friday uh, morning happened. And I get back to the house around like 3 a.m. I pass out. And that's when I started to really feel this congestion and this sick. Um, so I'm like, oh, great. I'm going to have to go back to work. And I'm going to be all icky and gross. Because reasons and i was not looking forward to it at all so i'm hoping that come tomorrow i'll be a little bit more cleared up come monday and i'll just what the fuck and i won't be so ick i won't at least feel as ick so that that'll be that be something to kind of look forward to um but you know we'll see what happens um, so as so I go to bed, we set up the we set up set up the house. So it's always been like a Black Friday tradition to set up the house for Christmas because we didn't want to be a part of the crazy. No, that's understandable. People are crazy on Black Friday, as already mentioned. We didn't want to be a part of it. So we're like, hey, we'll just decorate the house on Black Friday, and it'll be a good good time. Um, so that's always like our tradition, what we've done. And so we decorate the house and we're like, hey, after we decorate the house, let's go see a movie. And with me starting to feel all stuffy and gross, we were like, maybe that's not such a good idea. So we finished decorating the house at like one, which was good and exciting and all, and all that fun stuff. Um, and then I got a call from some elementary school buddies. Uh, sorry, I had to sneeze. And they're like, hey, we're back in town from uh, for Thanksgiving. We're going to meet up. 
when do you want to meet up? And I'm like, ah, you know, I don't really know if I'm feeling up to it. I, remember Samantha. I don't she really know if that'd be the best ideal. Um, you know, I've taken a couple of shots of Dayquil at this point, and I'm, you know, I don't want to bring the vibe down of them all hanging out. So I'm like, ah, maybe that's not the best idea in the world, mate. And he's, and them being friends from elementary school, they're like, oh, I, I understand, I get it, I totally know where you're coming from. So they show up at my house at four, and they're like, hey, we're, we're here now. So we're starting to talk, we, we played Star Wars Battlefront, we played World War II, you know, we had a good time. Um, and we just, like, we enjoyed hanging out and being together. It was one of those things that's, like, even though we only hang out with each other, maybe, like, once every, like, four, maybe five months, it, like, and we don't ever talk to each other. At least I don't talk to them, uh, in the in-between time. It's nice to know that, like, if they ever wanted to hang out, or if I ever wanted to hang out, like, I just kind of show up and it'll, it'll walk out. So that was really nice. So as I'm coming back uh, from them, from hanging out with them, my dad was like, hey, did you forget you agreed to hang out with me today? Um, and I'm like, damn it, yeah, I did. Uh, my bad. <laughs> let me, uh, let me fix that. So I, so I get back to the house just in time to get into my car and drive away and then go meet up with my dad. I hung out with my dad for maybe 10 minutes because I just had to, I basically just had to drop something off at his, at his house and he really wanted me to drop that thing off. Not only because it was important, but because I had promised him I was going to drop it off and he's, and you know, I promised something so I had to do it. Um, so while that was going on, I take, I kind of like, I delivered the package, the payload, and, uh, he kind of like disappears. So as I'm driving back to my house for the set, for the second time now, I, uh, I get a call from, uh, Cuton Floyd, he's another friend of mine, except he's from like high school. And he's like, hey, um, I'm back in town. Do you want to hang out? And I'm like, uh, you know, I'm going to hang out. I really can't hang out for long. You know, I'm, I'm getting stuffy. I'm getting sick. And, you know, I mean, I'm starting to feel myself getting more and more congested and more and more. I'm just having more and more issues as the night progresses. And I'm like, eh, you know, maybe, maybe I shouldn't uh, do this. Maybe that's a bad idea, but long and behold to me, I end up driving to his house anyway, and uh, we played a couple of party games. We played uh, oh that's disgusting. Oh that's gross. I hate my body right now. Not that that's any different from how I usually feel about it, but like right now specifically, I just I'm not not enjoying it at all. Um. So, I hung out with him for a bit. Uh, Rogue was there. So, we were, we were all just playing party games. We played Jackbox. We played... Uh, we played... What's the game I'm thinking of? Uh, Screen Cheat, which is really fun. If you haven't played Screen Cheat yet, I highly recommend you do. Because it is a phenomenal game. That took like, a, like an early 2000s problem. And the problem of... Uh, local split screen couch co-op and they made an entire game into it and it is phenomenal I absolutely love it it's one of the it's a game that always g ends up getting me shrieking and just like ha and it's a great time um so there was that we did and then I'm like okay so at this point it's like 10 30 and I'm like okay I think I'm good I think I can go home uh, I can call it a night here I'll chug some day quill. I mean some night quill. And I'll go to bed. And that'll be good. So as I'm driving back to my house. You guys kind of see the pattern of what's going on now. I get a call. From another friend. Um, I get a call from Cincinnati Kid again. 
And he's like, hey, I've been in my house all day. I don't like being in my house all day. I need to get out of here before I lose my mind. Let's go. And I'm like, you know what? All right. I'm still out. I might as well. Might as well hang out with uh, Cincinnati kid a little bit longer. I'm like, all right. I'll go out with you on the one condition because I still don't have money. And I'm still uh, getting stuffy on the only condition that's only like for three hours, you know, like three hours at most, because I'm not like I'm not feeling it tonight. You know, I'm sorry that I'm not feeling it, but I'm not feeling it tonight. And he's like, yeah, yeah, no, man, I, I totally get it. You're like, I heard you yesterday. You weren't feel you weren't sounding too great. Um, it, it'll be fine. We'll just hang out for a little bit. What the fuck is this? This is weird. Okay. Um. But it was, it was, um. He goes, yeah, 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 sure, no problem. So we head over to uh, a restaurant, uh, a steak and shake. We hit up steak and shake and, um. We, we grabbed some food. And that was fun. And then we ended up talking about, like, politics, which is something we don't really talk about. Um, so we were talking about politics, and... Uh, is the dinosaur... Is the dragon dancing? I'm really confused. So we talked about politics. We talked about just how we thought everything was going. We talked about, um, like, just... Uh, other shows we were watching how it's, it was weird that both of us because both of us um you know we're very similar as people and that's why we make like really good friends because if some like a lot of times when one of us have gone through something the other one has already gone through it or is going through it now or you know it was very similar people and and I got into the point well if something happened to someone we could just, we the other one started like expecting it and for ourselves we're like okay well that happened there so it's probably gonna happen to me I better just mentally prepare myself for this so and we just we both kind of realized that we're both kind of in this place right now well we just want to we want to watch television and we want to see stories we want to be a part of stories and it, it was interesting to kind of like see that parallel parallelism I killed him I hate you for not paying attention um you know and it was interesting to kind of get that parallelism and then get that uh kind of like see that di dynamic um continue continuing And, I don't know, it was, it was comforting to know that we were both in this mood of like, let's watch television! And, uh, it was a good thing to kind of feel. So I saw him telling him about Riverdale. I'm now watching episode three. Like, I've only watched, at this point, I'd only watched, like, two episodes of Riverdale. Yet I'm still telling him about it, like, it's the greatest show. And I'm so excited to be watching or whatever. Even though they're all positive, they're all very cliche. And it makes, makes me laugh, like a little bitch. I love it. Um... So I was thinking about Riverdale, and he's like, yeah, that's cool. And then he started telling me about, uh, I actually forgot what show he was telling me about. So maybe, maybe we weren't paying attention as closely as we thought. But, um, and we were just having good conversation. And then I get back to the house, I'm like, okay, let's go to bed. And I'm staying up for another two hours. So at this point, it's now like five o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, this isn't going to go well. So I passed out. I woke up at like 9. So I maybe have like 9, maybe 9.30. And I'm like, okay, I'm good. I'm awake. Mom starts pounding on my door. And she's like, hey, we have to put up the Christmas lights. And I'm like, I'm dying. So I take a shot of, um, take a shot of Dayquil. I'm like, all right, let's go on the roof. Let's go. Go up on the roof. Almost fall off the roof like twice. And I was like, oh, God, mistakes were made. Um, so I'm hanging out on the roof. 
and uh, everything's good and fine and dandy or whatever. I, uh, we get, we get half the Christmas lights up. We, like, ran out of clips at one point, but we were having issues with the roof, with the whole roof portion. Um, so there was that. Then we, uh, so, so then after we set up the roof and got all of that stuff done, um, we went, we went to the movies. We actually finally went to go see the movies after trying to go see it on Black Friday. We wanted to go see it on a, a small business Saturday, as they call it for some reason. And we saw Coco. And a part of me wants to write a review on it, but I'm, I feel like I'm way too biased. So like I'll give, I guess I'll give like a quickie review here. Uh, Coco is the story about a young musician named Miguel and how he wanted to, um, now he wants to be a musician. So on the Day of the Dead, he gets cursed and he has to go through the land, land of the dead. And if he fails to, uh, procure a family blessing, he will die. He will be a part of the family curse forever and die, yeah. which is awesome. Um, so then he kind of goes on this magical adventure through the Day of the Dead, and the colors and sights and sounds and music, oh god, the music is amazing. But I feel that as someone who's being from Hispanic heritage, I don't feel like I can accurately uh, review it, because I just have this native bias. Of being like, oh, it's it's my culture Pixar wanted to talk about, and it's my things, and that makes it special, you know. Uh, so I, that's the only reason why there wasn't a review up on of Coco on the channel. Uh, so sorry about that. So then, that's kind of been my week. Um, we had some Chinese food yesterday, which was awesome. We're still living off of uh, the. We're still living off of leftovers from Thanksgiving and the days before Thanksgiving and everything. But that's been my week. This week was an extraordinarily busy week. Um, and they're only going to get busier as the end of the year kind of like wraps off. So I'm sorry that this is a 42 minute long video. Like, oh God. Especially when I'm sick and I still have a bunch of other videos I have to record today. This has been a great opening to my recording sessions today but um i hope you guys enjoyed this week i want to know what you guys did this week so tell me about it in the comment section down below also uh we have 81 subscribers now and it would be absolutely awesome if we could get up to uh 100 subscribers by the time the year ends um so i can that'd be amazing um i want to thank you guys for just continually growing this channel out like you guys have been doing but i'm done talking thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye